Okay, so we have confirmation. I believe that was from Com that says the engine's still running. This picture you're looking at, the 10 kilometers up during that braking burn, that power descent initiation, that long burn that brought us 4,000 miles per hour braking burn. Incredible shot. Yeah, that's there. what I'm saying as well. All right, there's another view there. Uh, looks like. From this panel, we're looking at the garage. So that's Lunar Outpost map rover inside of that square right there, Leah. And this looks like it's probably about the same altitude, maybe about 10, 10 meters above the surface. And one more here for everyone. It's about the same altitude there, maybe a little bit more exposure, but these- Camera's still running in HRN mode. These photos came down for us just a few moments ago. Wanted to share those before we jump back into mission control as flight controllers are looking at this dynamic situation and learning. Yeah, go ahead and put us in landed ops. Seven. It looks like we're down. We need to evaluate that situation and I'd like to get a picture. Uh, Any time that you ship a spacecraft to Florida for flight um, and end up a week later operating on the moon, I declare that a success. However, I do have to tell you that uh, we don't believe we're in the correct attitude on the surface of the moon uh, yet again. Uh, I don't have all the data yet to say exactly where, what the attitude of the vehicle is. We're collecting photos now and downlinking those. And we're going to get a picture from the Lunar Reconnaissance uh, Orbiter camera from above, from orbit, and we'll confirm that over the coming days. So if we can figure out the orientation correctly with imagery, we can then develop a power profile, like I said, and then result in a series of priorities in the science and technology list that would allow us to capture some mission objectives uh, for the mission. Turn on the drill, uh, turn on the mass spectrometers, for example, sniff for uh, water as, as we vent the LOX tank, for example, with the uh, Hungarian sensor, the Pooley Space sensor, or with M-Solo, the, the, the STMD Prime 1 drill package mass spectrometer. Uh, Nokia, we know we can talk uh, on Nokia radios uh, on today. So there's, there's quite a number of objectives that we can meet. We just have to lay that out here over the coming shifts.